I'm going to give you a little short uh, biography of myself growing up, what has kind of shaped my uh, ethnic identity, uh, what kind of influenced me uh, into wanting uh, into the discipline of, of uh, sociology. Um, and this is a picture of me at birth. Uh, I, I was born in Bensheim, Germany, and my name at birth was Hans uh, Joachim uh, Meyer. This is the house that I was born in, in Bensheim. Uh, back in the, the era when I was born, a lot of people were born at home. And I was born on the lower level in the back room. I think you can kind of see the window off to the, off to the left on this uh, house in Elizabeth Strauss uh, Zwei or two. Uh, this is a photograph of my uh, mother, Walter Hildegard Meyer, when she was about six, 16. Uh, uh, about a year later, uh, I was born. This is a, a copy of my birth uh, document. It just states that my mother, Walter Hildegard Meyer, she didn't have a job, she was Protestant, she lived in Trotheim, Darmstadt. It uh, gives you the date and time of when I was born, and I was born in this house in Bensheim on Elisabethstrasse. And at birth I was given the name Hans uh, Joachim. Uh, and down below it talks a little bit about uh, that my uh, mother was born on February 19th in 1937 in Niederramstadt. And off to the right, the information there pertains to my adoption and when I was adopted by, shortly after birth by a couple, Dorothy and Clifford uh, Glennon. My grandparents placed me for adoption. And then at the bottom right, it just talks about the fact that they had my name change from Hans Joachim to uh, Clifford Stephen uh, Glennon. And this is a cop photo a copy of the front page of my German passport. I was a German citizen for the first nine years of my life and it was with this passport that I was able to travel with the couple that adopted me. Every time we moved to a different country they would have to go to the German consulate and get a visa so that they could uh, take me to the next place. This is a photograph of my German family. On the left is my mother, Waltrud Hildegard. Uh, the man standing next to her is my uncle, Hans Joachim. I was named after him. The man next to him is Klaus Meyer. And the man next to him off to the right is Gerhard Meyer, which was uh, Hans's twin, and he died in an auto accident in the 1980s. And the young woman off to the right is my Aunt Uta and the man sitting is my grandfather, Otto, and, uh, and my grandmother, Hilda Marta. Uh, this is a, a photograph of my grandmother's cousin, Albert Schweitzer, who was a famous uh, German medical doctor, spent much of his career in, in Africa uh, with the poor, and for that work he won the Nobel Peace Prize in the 1950s. Uh, Klaus, my uncle, kind of jokes that I'm acquiring uh, Albert's uh, wrinkles on the face. Uh, the man on the f far left with the beard uh, is my father, who is now deceased. His name is Hermann Hoffabert. Uh He was not involved in my life nor my mother's life uh, after I was uh, born. Uh, but he became a very uh, prominent businessman and owned a factory in uh, Germany. Now, this is a recent photo of my mother and I in Tittesee, Germany, in Schwarzwald, the Black Forest area. Uh, it was probably taken maybe two or three Christmases uh, ago when I was there visiting her for the holidays. Uh, this is a picture of uh, her husband who passed away, uh, Werner, uh, and he owned a factory that uh, produced uh, car parts. Uh, and he recently, like I said, passed away about a year ago uh, with uh, uh, cancer. And this was photo was taken in their house in Nimburg, Germany, uh, which is also a little village in Schwarzwald or the Black Forest area. This is a photo of myself and my two brothers. The, uh, the man on the left is my youngest brother, Thomas. He lives in München or Munich uh, and works in the restaurant industry. And the man on the right is the middle brother, I uh, being the oldest, and he is a violinist for the Mannheim Orchestra and lives in Mannheim. And this is taken also in Nimburg, Germany, uh, in my uh, mother's uh, house. She's now subsequently moved from Nimburg since her husband died to Waldkirch uh, 
uh, uh, Germany, which is probably about 15 kilometers away, another small village. This is a photo of uh, me standing with my Uncle Klaus. Uh, I'm off to the left with the black t-shirt. And sitting uh, from the left to the right is my wife, Jan, my daughter, Caitlin, and uh, Klaus's wife, Dora, my aunt. And she was from uh, Greece. This is a photo of me uh, in Bensheim uh, and uh, outside of a hotel where I normally stay when I visit my hometown, uh, the Bacchus Hotel. And I would recommend it if anyone ever makes it to my hometown to stay here. It's a lovely place and the people that own it are just wonderful. Uh, this is a photograph of the couple that adopted me, Dorothy and Clifford. This is right before I was adopted. They had just gotten married in the Vatican in, in Rome. And then they uh, moved to uh, Belgrade, Yugoslavia, which was his, my father's next assignment from the State Department. And this is a photo of me outside of our house uh, after I was recently adopted in Belgrade, Yugoslavia. And here's a photo of me and my adopted father and my adopted sister. She uh, were not related to one another biologically. She was adopted from Stuttgart, Germany, from a family there. This is a picture of me in our backyard in Belgrade, Yugoslavia, with my uh, nanny who was diligently watching me to make sure I didn't get hurt or injured. And this is also another photograph of myself in Belgrade uh, when I was young in the uh, early uh, 50s. Moving ahead, uh, we moved from Belgrade to New Delhi, India, where I lived for the next three years. And here I was getting prepared for a watercolor festival where you can go spray watercolors on uh, anyone. And uh, you can see uh, my nanny, Maria, who was kind of diligently watching me, probably speculating what a mess this little boy has made of himself. Uh, this is a picture of me and my uh, sister in Kashmir, where we'd often go on vacation for a couple of weeks uh, during the summer. And this is a photo of myself in our backyard in New Delhi, India. This is a photo uh, as we were making our way to the houseboat where we were living. Uh, with my uh, sister and my mother uh, in this uh, canoe. And this is uh, on the houseboat and a picture of my sister in Kashmir. This uh, document is my uh, naturalization document, my certificate of naturalization when I became an American citizen in 1963. And the reason it took so long, approximately nine years, for me to become a citizen is that I had to reside in the United States for a period of time to meet uh, uh, citizenship laws, naturalization laws, and also uh, pass an examination uh, before I would be approved for U.S. Uh, citizenship. And so after this, after I was naturalized, then I received my first American passport, and I used that to travel on uh, to the other countries where we live. And the next places that we went to was Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and Vientiane, Laos. This is a photo of me and my sister in Greece as we were making our way to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia in the 60s. It's a picture in, outside of Cairo, Egypt, the pyramids, once again as we were kind of making our trip to uh, Addis uh, Ababa. And this is a photo of me and our dog in our backyard in Addis Ababa. The dog's name was Tinish, which means in Amharic, little. This is a photo uh, in uh, Ethiopia also when we're making our way to Lake Owasa for a vacation. And this is a photograph of myself, my mother sitting on my right, and, uh, and two of her friends, Tom and Eliz Elizabeth Burke, who also worked for the State Department. I believe this photograph was taken to pa in Paris as we were making our way to uh, Vientiane, uh, Laos. This is a picture of, of me outside of a train station as my father and I were heading to a little town in Ireland uh, where his family originated from when they immigrated to the United States the early part of the 20th uh, century. And this is a picture of me in that hometown where my father's family came from in Ireland uh, and uh, adopted father. Uh, and he was taking this picture of me sitting at the bar in this uh, hometown. Here's another photograph of myself uh, 
and the late 60s as we were heading uh, into Hong Kong, which is the Hong Kong Harbor. Uh, and from there, we were going to go to Bangkok, uh, Thailand, and then on our way to Vientiane, Laos, where I was going to spend the next four years of my life. This is a, f a photograph of uh, our backyard in Vientiane, Laos, our two dogs, and uh, the, our, the son of uh, our cook. And this is a photograph later on. Uh, I was a teen young teenager here attending my sister's graduation at this private uh, high school in Columbus, Ohio, and the couple that adopted me. So now you kind of have kind of a general uh, idea a little bit of, uh, of, of me and my life uh, and uh, where I came from. And uh, currently I teach at Iowa Western Community College. I've been doing so for t 25 years, a sociologist. And uh, I currently spend, oh, about three to four months out of the year in Germany uh, with my uh, family back uh, back there uh, and currently I hold dual citizenship. I, I will still have my German citizenship which uh, uh, was never uh, lost to me and I am also an American citizen through naturalization. Well I hope uh, this kind of gives you a little idea about uh, your instructor.